Hi, everybody. Uh, good morning, good afternoon. Good day to you all. Thank you for watching. Um, in this, in please thumb up, please thumbs up if you like the video, or even if you don't, so that I can get better. Show me some support. <laughs> anyway, um, in this video, this self righteous Karen, and some of you might be Karens too, and might think that this was okay, but uh, this woman basically exposed a man for cheating to his wife and keep in mind she's an uber driver who's paid to pick up and drop people off uh the man didn't do anything directly to her she just overheard a conversation and decided to take action so some of you might think oh well she did the right thing she needs to yeah that wife needs to know that wife needs to know but i want to ask y'all this do those kids need to know did that man's kid and i'm gonna let y'all see the video and you'll see what i'm talking about did that man's kids need to know that he should cheat her? What effect do y'all think that has on kids? The man didn't expose his kids. This woman dropped him back off with her self-righteous ass, dropped him back off at his home with the mistress where the kids were home. He didn't do this. She did. People don't think about the ramifications of their actions. What if the wife found this out? Well, I'm sure she did. What if the wife decided to get a gun? What? No matter what, whether y'all feel like the mistress des deserves to have whatever happened to her, that's one thing. But then if, a, if the wife were to see this, go completely off and make a life-altering decision, the, li the wife's life would be ruined because something was thrown at her unexpectedly. The husband didn't sit her down and tell her, the decision wasn't even his, but you know, her rights were taken away when he's cheating too, of course. But when you decide to take matters into your own hands and do the so-called right thing, you have to really use your mind and think about all the ramifications of it. This woman, the Uber driver, what kind of trouble would she get in if the wife decided to get a weapon and harm her husband? The wife would go to jail. She wouldn't be, she wouldn't get off for that. All because the Uber driver decided what she was doing was right. Just because you're doing, you think you're doing the right thing, you have to think about, you have to think that all the way through. And again, what about those children who probably didn't know their father was cheating? And children shouldn't be even put in that. The lady says in the video that the kids were home. You knew this man's kids were home and you're going to expose them to that? You got to have some goddamn sense and can't, gosh. I keep forgetting to put it on Do Not Disturb. You have to have some sense and think about the ramifications of actions that you take, whether you think you're doing the right thing or not. A lot of stupid people think they're doing the right thing, and a lot of bad things result from it. But y'all watch the video. Tell me if you think that this Karen made the right decision when she decided to step into a situation that was not her business. I wish I would at my job when I dealt with customer service and dealt with people face to face, overheard a conversation and decided to tell somebody's wife, no, no, you don't do that. That's not even your place. But anyway, here's the video and tell me if y'all think she was right. All right. Listen up, all you cheaters. If you live in the Dallas Fort Worth area and you ever need a Lyft or an Uber and you get in my car, be forewarned. If you ever pull this kind of shit that this guy pulled today, you got the same thing coming. Today I picked up a guy, his wife and his kids walked him out to the, to the car, said, I love you, daddy, blah, blah, blah. So he gets in, he says, hi. He goes, I added a stop. I said, I saw that. So we go and we pull up at the stop and this lady comes out and she's got a little bit of luggage, like a handbag and a, a tote, a small tote. She gets in and she's like, I'm so glad you finally got away from your damn wife. Hmm. Okay. So then he kisses her and it wasn't a hi, how you doing kind of kiss. And so he goes, I changed our drop-off location. I said, I saw that. Uh, I didn't know exactly where it was that they were going at that particular time. I just saw that it had an update. So um, they continued to talk and this, that, and the other. And she says, you know, I'm tired of you putting me off. When are you going to leave? And he said, you know, I've got some things I've got to take care of. You know, let's talk about this later. Blah, 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 blah. Keep in mind, I was about five miles from his house. So understand something this is my car i work for myself i am an independent contractor if i choose to end your ride it's my choice 
Uber's not going to fire me. Uber's not going to ban me. Uber's not going to get rid of me. If you are doing something crappy in my car, I have the right to handle it however I see fit. Well, he, things didn't turn out so well for him. I took him back to his house. I drove up and made him and her get out of my car at his home where his wife and his kids were. There was no other way this.